Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to introduce the Angular NG Switch core directive. So as we have seen we can conditionally add or remove elements to a page if using the ng-if core directive. ng-if is useful in the case when we want to add the element to the page depending on a condition or we want to remove it. So there are only two possibilities. But there are many other cases where we have more than these two possibilities. For example here in the case of the category property of each course. Let's say that we want to add here a label that identifies if the course is beginner, intermediate or advanced. Let's see how ng switch is going to help us to create here a category label just above here the view course button. So we are going to go here to our template and here just below the course description we are going to add here a new div and we are going to add it the CSS class course category. Now inside this container we are going to add the category itself. The category is going to be simply a div which is going to have the class category. Let's add here the beginner category for example. So if we now try this out we are going to see that the beginner tag is being added to all the courses. Instead of adding this to every course we want to add this depending on the value of the course category. We can do that in the following way. We are going to apply here the ng switch directive. So this is going to work in a similar way to a JavaScript switch statement. We are going to choose the expression onto which we want to switch on, which is going to be the course category itself. And then, depending on the value of the category, we are going to show or not here the beginner category. So one of the cases that we want to show is indeed the beginner category, and we are going to identify that via a case clause. We are going to add here the ng switch case structural directive here with the asterisk syntax. This case is going to be considered active if the value of this expression course.category is identical to beginner. So in this case we are going to be showing this label. If we now try this out we are going to see that only the courses that are beginner courses have the beginner tag as expected. We also want to add here for example the case of intermediate courses. So we are going to add here the matching expression intermediate and we are going to fix here our label. So if we try this out we are going to see that now certain courses get applied here the intermediate tag. And the same goes for the advanced tag. So we want to add here a third possibility, advanced courses. So if we try this out we are going to see that indeed certain courses now have here the advanced tag. Now we also want to cover the possibility when the course category expression does not match any of the known cases. In that case we want to write the category all levels. We can do that by applying the following directive, the ng switch default structural directive. So in order to see the all levels tag we are going to have to go here to our db data file that contains the data that we are displaying and let's for example go to the first course and remove here the category property. So if we now try this out we are going to see that indeed we have here the all levels tag displayed as expected. So as you can see the main difference between ng switch and ng if is that here with ng switch we can cover multiple alternative cases very easily and we can even provide the default case. This is unlike ng if where we really only have two possibilities. And with this we have covered the multiple options available with ng switch. Let's now talk about another very commonly used angular core directive ng container.